keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there, welcome to this video from racingbetdata.com. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at statistical relevance um, of a system or strategy. It's something that we've had quite a few inquiries about over the past uh, couple of days and weeks. We've been somewhat tied up with the relaunch of the Racing Bet Data site, so we haven't really got around to doing anything specific yet for anybody. But what we have done now, uh, we've added to the example download section of the Racing Bet Data and Football Bet Data website a statistical relevance Excel file that you can download free of charge to use. Um, and what we're going to do in this video is show you what it does and how to use it. So best place to start is the dashboard because this is the crux of where you're going to create a system or strategy and get some output. And I'm just going to use some completely random output in this uh, example here just to generate some, some data in terms of number of bets, winners, etc. So nothing in this video is, uh, is aimed at showing you how there's an edge or anything like that at all. Completely random data to expect completely random results. Um, and that's what the the, um, the spreadsheet, the statistically relevant spreadsheet will show you. So we're going to select all national hunt tracks, uh, specifically national hunt tracks, horses with a pace rating of 9 or 10. Uh, and we're going to select field sizes between 1 and 7. And I'll probably just leave it at that uh, and output the data for the last three years or two and a bit years. I'm going to submit that to the screen. Now, submitting that to screen will give us most of what we need to input into this file. Um, I'm just going to open this file up. So here you have the st statistical relevance file, and you can see that these green boxes here are the ones that you need to populate. And really straightforward to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. And then the spreadsheet will do the rest for you. And what it will do is calculate the p-value uh, and the Archie score. Now, these are two statistically known um, measures that will allow you to calculate the, the likelihood of your system or strategy that you've created using the output being down to chance or luck or down to skill. So depending on the score that it comes out with, it will show you that actually that's quite random. There's no luck, there's no edge there. Um, and we can walk you through that as we go through. So the output is now generated. You can see we've got 1215 rows here. Now if I scroll to the bottom, you'll see that we've got some of the data we need. So number of horses, which is the number of bets, uh, is one, two, one, zero. Now the reason it's five less than the output is that there are five horses that are running today. So they haven't completed the race, so they've been excluded from this profitability calculation. So we need to enter uh, one, two, one, zero in the number of bets. Now we're looking to see how many winners we've had from those one, two, one, zero. Uh, and you can see that that's all he told us here. Number of winners is 286. So we can enter 286. Uh, and then we need to know the yield or the return on investment, ROI. And that's calculated for us. Uh, and that's 16.04%. Uh, and now we need to know the average odds for all runners for these 1200, uh, 1,210 and the expected winners. Now the expected winners, I need to adjust that spelling in there, but it's the sum of all the odds probabilities. So basically you do one divided by the odds and then you sum that column. I'm gonna show you how to do it, so don't worry. Uh, go back to the website, scroll back to the top, and then we're gonna send this to Excel. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how you can get those two additional bits of data very quickly, um, very simply. It's not uh, anything too taxing involved in here. So as soon as this Excel file opens, I will show you what we need to do. It's just downloading now and should be opening on top of this one. There we go. So we need the BSP, uh, the average, first of all. So we can select that column. You can see down the bottom there, just about the average is 15.5. So I'll go back to my spreadsheet and enter the average odds of 15.5. Uh, you can see that some data is already populated, so that's all the p-value needs. We need a bit more data to populate the Archie score, and that is the expected winners. So we need to create a column in here, and I'm just going to put expected in there. And simple calculation, it's 1 divided by the BSP, and that gives us our expected winners, and we can sum that column, uh, and that's actually going to return an error. So as I said, there's going to be 5 horses in there and we can filter on that column 
and you'll see that there's error in this data. And if we scroll to the left, you'll see that those are all horses running today. So we can delete those out. I take the filter off. And now when we select that, we'll see the sum down there, which is 269.17. So that's the expected amount of winners we should get from those um, 1,210. You can see we've slightly exceeded that. Hit enter. Right, and we have this data now populated. So I'm just gonna talk you through this, uh, some explanations on the right hand side here, which uh, you, can, you can study and read through. And also if you want to look on the internet for more detail, but very quick summary, the standard deviation and T-stat are calculated from within the p-value uh, and that generates the overall p-value, which is 8.58%. So what does that mean? You can skip to the bottom here uh, and this gives you a summary. So a p-score, p-value below 5% gives moderate evidence against the thesis that the yield is a result of chance alone. So basically the lower the p-value, the more likely that your system or strategy is, is down to an edge or skill rather than chance. Um, and a p-score below 1% considered strong evidence and anything below 0.1 is very strong. So you're aiming for a score below 1%, uh, ideally uh, under 0.1%. Um, and what we've done here is the inverse. So what this shows is a one in what probability that this system um, is down to chance. So one in 11 probability that this is down to chance alone and it's completely random on the website. So um, you would expect that. Now down the bottom here, we have a graphical summary of the p-value. So you can see here the red line, this is where we are 8.58%. The blue line um, is where you need to, sorry, the green line is the, the target. So that's 1% and the blue line is where you expect to be after a certain number of bets. So you can see we're here around the 1200 mark. Uh, this is where the crossover is. So we're at the 8.58%. Now after two and a half thousand bets, it's estimated you would be around the 2.5 on the p-value. So you'd be below 5%, so it gives moderate evidence, uh, but you wouldn't be near that 1% just yet. Um, and that assumes that you carry on with the same strike rate, the same yield using the same odds um, as, as you've obtained so far. Now, if you wanna see where you would achieve uh, after how many number of bets you would achieve the, the 1% uh, p-score, the little table or a big table on the left-hand side will do that for you. So you're looking for where the p-value uh, drops to 1% or below. And we can see here that on line 342, after 3,500 bets, your expected p-value would be uh, 1%. So you're looking, you need to obtain basically triple the amount of bets you've got and maintain the same strike rate and the same yield or similar before that this system could be considered as a strong evidence against the theory that it's down to luck. That's the p-value. The Archie score uh, is generated here, 1.35. I'm not a massive fan of the Archie score in comparison to p-value. I think p-value is more robust, but this gives us a, a, a simplified calculation telling you the likelihood of your system after the number of bets that you've generated here. Um, so this is showing after 246 bets, you can reliably uh, assume that the, um, the system is 31% likelihood down to chance and 68, so two thirds down to skill. And again, a bit more data in there about the Archie score. Um, and that's, uh, that's how it works. Like I said, it's gonna be free for you to download from the site. Feel free to test it either on football or horse racing, it will work the same way.